Hello, and welcome to the research process. In this video, you'll learn about citing sources. Citing sources is an important part of every research project. The way you cite something depends upon several factors. Your college major or even your professor may have a preferred citation style, so make sure to carefully read the assignment given prior to starting your bibliography. Whichever style you use, you must give credit to the sources you've referenced. There are several reasons why it's critical to cite your sources. To give credit to the researchers and scholars who have come before you. So your readers can verify your claims by checking your sources. So your readers can learn more about the subject by reading the sources you've used. And most importantly, to avoid plagiarism. The most common citation styles are APA, MLA, and Chicago, but there are many others. Most libraries have copies of these guides for your reference. Each citation style is slightly different, but all of them include the following elements. For articles, you'll need the author, the publication title, such as Journal of Child Psychology, the article title, the date, the volume and issue, the page numbers, and the web address or DOI number, which is short for Digital Object Identifier for Electronic Sources. This type of information you need to collect for documents will vary. Check the style manual you're using to see what you need to collect for electronic documents. There are many ways to find the DOI number, including your article search, the article website, and the PDF version of the article, both in the upper right corner and in the lower left corner of the first page of the article. This is what an APA reference list citation would look like for an article. The information you need for referencing books is very similar. You'll need the author, the title, the editors if the book is an edited volume, the chapter title, again if the book is an edited volume, the date of publication, the publisher, and the place of publication. This is what an APA reference list citation would look like for a book. So now you have an idea of what a reference list is going to look like, but you also have to insert references into the paper as you're writing. For most reference styles, this is done using parentheses, noting the author's last name, the date, and page numbers if you're using a quote. But remember to check your individual style guide for the proper formatting of both in-text citations and reference lists or bibliographies. Managing all of your citations can be a lot of work, but there are tools that can help you manage your citations and generate reference lists. It's possible to buy software like EndNote to help you with this. However, many libraries subscribe to a program called RefWorks that you can use for free. Citations can be downloaded and stored from databases, and the software can even make reference lists for you in your preferred style. Another free option for citation management, if you use Firefox as your web browser, is a program called Zotero. You can download Zotero for free and use it to capture, store, and display citation information. Neither system is perfect, so you need to know the basics to make sure the citations are properly formatted. So to properly cite references, you need to figure out which citation style you need to use, collect all the necessary information required by the style guide, format your citation by the individual style rules, and use citation management software to help, but be sure to check for accuracy. Thanks for watching.